weekly keeping you positive video so i did a video last week about um hate and negative people and i said that those that um, i was going to do another video so as promised here it is how to identify <laughs> identify toxic people and how to also get rid of them guys so as promised today we are going to um, discuss how to actually identify and um, get rid of toxic people from our lives a little bit of a word of advice a little disclaimer it's not easy but don't worry um, what we're talking about today will just help you even move a step closer um, to having more positive vibes in your own life Okay, so first things first, what I want you to do is just stop for a second and just think about uh, people in your life um, that you associate with, may they be friends, family, um, colleagues, employees, whatever they may be. And I want you to just stop and think about when you are in their company, do you feel uplifted and feel energized and happy and you know as if you really you know um achieve something from the conversation okay and now i want you to just kind of think about those people that didn't kind of pop to mind as soon as i said those words they're probably the people that are more toxic and negative when I mention toxic people, some of you um, will have automatically had pictures and mental images of those people that are in your life that you do associate with um, being toxic or negative, okay? But first and foremost, if you're finding it a little bit difficult to actually identify and know whether or not they are toxic or draining you of your energy, we'll, we'll first talk about identifying those toxic people and then we'll talk about how to actually get rid of them and i know what you're thinking you're thinking some of you that <laughs> you're thinking i can't just cut people out of my life i mean if what if it's a family member or what if it's um my manager what if they're the people that are toxic i can't just quit my job but don't worry this video will actually help you um not just it's not just to get rid of them it will at least help you minimize the kind of soul-sucking dementor ways <laughs> okay okay so part one of this video identifying so number one when you are around this person or with this person or you know these people that you've got in your mind now i want you to ask yourself do you get roped into their drama not necessarily in the sense of you know, listening to what's going on in their drama, but actually end up being involved in their drama, sorting things out or actually being in the midst of it all. Okay. Number two, when do these people, um, do you have people in your life that um, when you want to kind of break away and do something different, do they kind of turn around and say to you that, you've changed, you've become, you've become a different person. Do they not show their support for you to kind, of, for you to actually branch out and do something? And number three, do you tend to avoid saying certain things to these, to certain people because you are worried about the response you might get? So say for example, if um, you went out somewhere and you then bumped into said toxic person or negative person, do you find that you don't want to tell them how amazing of a time you had because you know you, you don't want them to kind of judge you or you don't want them to um, kind of start giving you a hard time about how you shouldn't have done certain things or gone certain way, or gone to a certain place, or you know, something like that. Okay, now if you have answered yes to one or all of the above um, points, 
then you are dealing with a toxic or a negative person. So now, the second part of our video. How to actually combat these toxic people, how to get rid of them or, you know, um, feel that you're not, they're not draining you of your energy. One of the main things I want you to do now, step one, is to admit to yourself that they are toxic and you are not all right with their behavior and it's okay to not be okay with their behavior, okay? You need to say to yourself, be honest with yourself. Now, if you can't be honest with yourself, you can't be honest with, it, then, you know, it, it, you can't be honest with other people. So first and foremost, we need to kind of give ourselves a break and say, you know what? It's fine. I don't, you don't need to accept everyone because we all go apart, we change and we mature with time and etc. And sometimes these toxic people like to hold people back. So it's absolutely fine, okay? Step two. Now this one's slightly more difficult, okay? You need to speak up. Not <laughs> steady on people. I don't mean speak up as in go into a place, go to someone and say, you know what, you are toxic because now there's no difference between you and the toxic person. You're putting just them out the same amount of negativity in their life as they did yours. What I mean is you need to speak up to let them know that you don't want to discuss certain things, certain topics or something along those lines because it's negative and you don't like it. So say for example, you this you have this one toxic friend and um, they like to talk about their dramas with their partners, boyfriends, ex-partners, whatever. You are free to go in there and say, listen, I'm feeling really good, I'm feeling really happy, I'm feeling really like um, uplifted, I've had a really good day, or I've had a really horrible day and I really stressful day so I don't want to talk about um you know all loads of drama that's going on let's talk about you know how much fun you had when you went out the other day or the holiday you got, you're going on soon or you know something like that you have the freedom to change the topic so do that also at the same time give that toxic person that negative person that is in your life a chance maybe that's not the way they actually are. Maybe they are going, maybe it's a phase. You get to decide that. First and foremost, you need to decide that. You need to decide, is this person actually like this? Or um, is it just at the moment they're going for a hard time? So they're being quite, quite a damp, they can dampen the mood and stuff like that. So you then get the opportunity to ask them and talk to them about it. So just, again, just be honest and just uh, uh, saying to them that, that listen, I'm, I've got a new job and it seems that whenever I bring it up, you don't really want to talk about it. Is everything okay? Or listen, um, I've now got married and I'm moving away um, and it seems like whenever we, whenever I talk about it, you get a bit there's a bit of hostility, like, is everything okay? Is there something that I've said that to upset you or whatever? No, you can do that. Being productive about it. Things that you need to be careful about though, is say if you've had this friend for ages, absolutely ages, and um, you've invested so much time into it, and you've bottled up a lot of this, how they make you feel, um, sort of negative and like a, a vibe that they give off, you've bottled it up a lot, you might find that you end up kind of bl blurting everything out. So keep yourself in check in that matter because then there's no difference between you and that person, okay? And now step three, get support. If say for example you have a family member that is quite toxic and negative and maybe they're negative towards you and no one else or maybe they're negative to everyone, okay? Or say if you have a friend, a mutual friend with quite a few people um, and you know, they are quite, they're quite toxic or whatever, 
get the support from your friends and family members to tell them that listen um th i'm gonna go see this person i'm really worried that you know this is the sort of this is what's gonna happen it's gonna be really a, a, a real chore for me to go i'm not gonna enjoy myself and etc talk to them about it beforehand and then talk to them about it afterwards it gives you another perspective and also the person that you're talking to is obviously you've chosen to talk to them because they're quite supportive so they will um also lift your mood so you'll be able to say you know what it was absolutely uh, i hated it and this that, and the other and they'll kind of may help you kind of get that positive back into your life okay and now final step you have the power on whether or not you go to a certain place and spend however much time there say for example it's your manager and you your manager's really kind of negative or say for example it's a family member you have the power to kind of adjust the time that you are with them but it's not about you the they're not sh kind of pushing their negativity on a uh, negativity on you because you are a bad person maybe they're just in a negative place so remember okay hope this has helped I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any comments stories or whatever please post them below I would be I would love to hear them and as usual please like share subscribe because remember you're not alone in this thank you for watching